It wasn't really our fault, you know? We were just having our monthly mid-90s movie Monday. Yeah, we have it every third Monday. And Bobby was late, so we started without him. We weren't looking to get killed or anything. Oh, we should have never taken that call. No, shouldn't have taken it. and you're missing it. I made puppy chow. Oh, come on, Bobby. Where are you? Erica made puppy chow. Yeah, it's really good, isn't it? <laughs> look, guys, just shut up for a second, all right? I, look, I, I don't have time to explain, but I'm in the witness protection program. I, I think they found me. I, I need you to go to my apartment and get the tin. You're going to have to break in, but you need to get there before they do. You need to get the tin. I'll find you. Oh, okay. Okay, Bobby. We'll help you. Don't forget, don't ever. Ah. Um, is this for real? Hey! Remember that one time Bobby was over here for Supreme Spy Sunday? And I said, wouldn't it be so cool if you were in a witness protection program and had to be relocated to all sorts of exotic places like Wyoming? And Bobby said, no, it's terrible. You never see your hometown again, and they rip you away from your family. And then he got all weird and quiet and left early. Well, that's it. He's in the program. And now they've found him, and they're trying to kill him. We have to help him. Okay. How are we supposed to get into his apartment without a key? Hey, neighbor. Uh, we, we just had a, a couple of questions for you. Since you work for the government and all? Um, you know, guys, if this is another one of those um, anti-weed killer petitions, I'm just really not interested. Oh, no, no, it's not. But, you know, you really shouldn't no, spray no, no. that we, stuff on your house. We just had uh, a question about how to break into an apartment to steal something. For a play. Yeah, we're writing, we're writing a play called The Mystery of the Crazy Phone Call About a Tin. All right. So what would be the best way in where you wouldn't get caught or arrested or killed? I don't know. I guess you'd try the door. The door? The door! But what if you don't have a key? Then your character would probably try the window. The window? The window! Thanks, Agent Frost. Be like 
diamonds or something. Quick, quick, one minute. Bobby, you've been real stupid lately. You were stupid to think you could get out of Chicago. You were stupid to think that you could hold that juicy piece of evidence away from the cops. Why don't we make things simple? Why don't you just give me that little tape that I know you found? Um, my name is Doug. <laughs> sure it is, Doug. Why don't you hand me the tape, and I won't kill you the slow way. Fair enough. <laughs> bye bye. Oh, uh, we just needed a, a little more help with our, our play idea. Okay. Yeah. So, so what if the situation uh, with the tin is uh, actually about a friend who stole a tape from the mafia, but then the mafia sent a guy to kill him? Yeah, and, and then the assassin finds you and your husband in there and tries to kill you, but you knock him out and stuff him in a shed. Uh, what would the character do then? Wait, what? And that's when we found out that Special Agent Catherine Frost worked for the Witness Protection Program. Yeah, that was a huge surprise. Yeah, she told us that Bobby was okay, though. He wasn't hurt or killed or anything. But she got really, really mad when we told her that we watched that tape. Boy, those mafia guys are really mean. But now we have these really cool, fancy new names. Isn't that right, Gerald? Why, yes, Eleanor. And when they asked us what location we wanted to be transferred to, we told them, Wyoming. Wyoming. <laughs>